Hello and welcome to another rendition of Scientific Names Explained. I am, of course, Brent Leo Smith from Painted Dog TV, and we're very excited to tell you a little bit about the cheetah. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, PaintedDog.tv. And of course, there's lots of other content. So if you want to learn more about lions, leopards, hyenas, and other wonderful African creatures, go and have a look at our playlists. Now, cheetah is a lot of people's favorite animal. And it is, of course, one of ours. And we've been lucky enough to follow a female cheetah and her five cubs for the last eight, nine months. So if you want to learn more about those cheetahs, remember to check out some of our other videos, The Tale of Two Mothers. You can learn about Mabai Bai the cheetah. But for now, we're going to go back to where Mabai Bai the cheetah gets her name from. So cheetah, uh, from Hindi, which, but originally from Sanskrit, means to be adorned, variegated or painted. But of course, that is not even the scientific name. So there's so much to talk about with the cheetah. Asionics comes from two ancient Greek words. The first ancient Greek word is akintonos, which means unmovable um, or non-moving. And the second is onyx, which means hoof or claw. And that, of course, refers to their semi-retractable claws. Unlike the other members of the cat family, they cannot pull their claws in. Jubatus comes for the Greek word for crested. And uh, what that is referring to is the cubs and that white fluffy crest the cheetah cubs have when they're young to help protect them. And there are two theories about why they have that crest. One is it does blend in with the grass, helping to camouflage them from other predators. And also, uh, when they're very young, they actually mimic honey badgers, which most animals are scared of. 